Hi, this is Captain Paul aboard my Tierra Sportfish in Fort Lauderdale. I recently upgraded to Garmin's 8610 XSV and found out it can be controlled by Garmin smartwatches. So I purchased the Quantix 6X Solar, which is a dive watch. It streams boat data from the chart plotter to your wrist. It's a Garmin 360 action camera remote. It can also control your autopilot, your radio. If somebody calls your phone and you don't have it right in front of you, it'll show you the phone number of who's calling. So you can just dismiss the call if it's a scam call or, or whatever. And it's a great piece of equipment to have aboard. It's also a GPS, so it gives you latitude and longitude coordinates on the watch. You can make waypoints just by hitting man overboard. If you hit man overboard, you can save a waypoint to your chart plotter if you're synced with the Wi-Fi on the chart plotter. Or you can just save the waypoint to your phone, at which point you can name it, etc., and save it. So it's a great piece of equipment to have aboard. It's also a fitness activity tracker, so it will tell you your heart rate, your heart oxygen rate. Uh, it tells you the tides. It's just amazing the amount of features this watch has. So I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the features of the watch. The Quantix 6X has five buttons and four different menus. Button number one is your light on off button. It also is a control button. If you press and hold this button, it pulls up the control menu, which you can scroll up or down through by hitting button number two or three. Two is up, three is down. So it has many controls such as backlight. I've adjusted the backlight to 100% and extended the time to a full minute so it won't shut off every eight seconds. I'm not concerned with saving battery power because it's a solar watch and it'll last 14 days on a single charge so you don't have to sweat it. It's Wi-Fi enabled. You can sync with the Wi-Fi. It's a verb action camera remote if you hit the man overboard button which is also the enter button it will turn on and off a Verb 360 action camera. You have Do Not Disturb features. Find my phone, alternate time zones. You can set alarms to wake up, when to go to bed, for whatever reason. You have timers, a virtual wallet. You can set up Garmin Pay and attach a credit card to the, to the watch. Music controls, it'll tell you the tides, the weather, you can turn it on and off, has a compass, and so on. So the second button is the menu button. If you press and hold the menu button, you can add controls to the first menu. So if you click this, you can go through all the different controls. You have lock, unlock, save location, phone, time, stopwatch, altimeter, barometer, flashlight, which didn't seem to do much good, your heart rate it tells you when sunset is, you can put it in airplane mode, and so on. So the back button is button number five. So if you press back, you go back to the menu, you can add controls, if you remove a control, you can reorder the control. You can remove controls from the first menu using this button. You just have to select which ones you want to remove. If you scroll down, you go into the settings menu, which gives you activities and apps, such as boat. You can add and remove these from the fourth menu, which you activate by pressing man overboard just once quickly. But all these can be saved as favorites or discarded. The watch is highly customizable, so you can decide what you're going to use and what you're not, and just get rid of the 
stuff that's just clogging up the features of the watch, you know, so you're able to access the features you use most quickly. So you can change all the settings by hitting man overboard. You can set it as a favorite, reorder it, remove it. So if you do remove it, you just have the ability to reorder it. I'm going to just go ahead and put this on my favorites. So it's placed it in the favorites, which is the fourth final menu, which we'll get to. So I'm going to hit back. So we're back. So then we get to boat data, which will actually stream data from your chart plotter to the watch, which is one of the main reasons I bought the watch. So I'm going to go ahead and set that as a favorite. And back, back out. So you get the idea, you're able to customize these features, add or remove them. Sale is actually in the favorites menu, which I don't really use. So I'm going to remove that one from the favorites list. So you can scroll through all these, add or remove any features. It has every possible activity you can imagine in the watch so you can scroll through and pick your favorite activity. So we've covered boat so far. You have sail race tides. Tides is a good one to have in, in my favorites so it's already there. But you have all these options to add, remove, navigate, autopilot, anchor, fish, but this is just to add these to the fourth and final menu. So I'm going to go back to access the widgets menu. You press and hold button number two just one time sharply so as not to hold it in, which brings you to these what Garmin calls widgets. So you have your solar intensity, it tells you how much the watch is recharging. You can zoom in on this, zoom back out, and you have the barometer, sunrise, sunset, notifications. So you can zoom in on this, it'll tell you what your emails are. You can actually read your emails on the watch or text messages. You have a calendar, it tells you the weather, your pulse oximeter, which is the oxygen content of your blood, your heart rate, how many steps you've walked in a day. Scrolling up, we're back to the Verb Action Camera, which has been recording for 7 minutes and 34 seconds. And you can also add or remove widgets to this menu by going to Garmin's app, the IQ app. The third button pulls up your music menu. So if you hit man overboard, it'll prompt you to connect your Bluetooth speaker or earbuds. So if you choose that, then you have the ability to go to whichever music streaming service you're using. So I'm going to go now to the fourth menu, which you access by simply hitting man overboard one time quickly. That will pull up your favorites. So we're starting with boat. That's the first one on the list. So once you're in boat, you get boat settings menu, which you can use to customize the watch. You choose if you choose data screens, well, it's telling me my GPS is ready. So I guess it has linked to my chart plotter. So I have data screens, which I'm going to select. So this is my nautical distance menu, which is the first page. If you hit man overboard again, it'll give you the option of changing the layout. So if you select the layout, you're able to scroll through all the different layouts. You can choose one data field, two, 
three, four, five. Anyway, I prefer larger print, so I'm going to go to a minimum, a maximum of two per page is all I would want. So if I select data fields, I can change the data that's being displayed. So I like nautical distance, I'm going to keep that and scroll down to the timer, which I don't use. I don't have a need for a timer, I'm not in any hurry. So I'm going to select that and change that to a speed field and just select speed over ground. Average nautical speed over ground. No, I just want speed over ground. And so I'm going to save that and go back and I can also go to the next page which is nautical distance. So I like the ability just to have a single data field displayed on the watch. I'm able to see it clearly. I'm going to go to the next page which is geared more towards an activity. So I'm going to remove this from boat. So that doesn't belong in boat. That's my heart rate. So here is my chart. So that can stay in boat. So I'm going to just keep this in boat and go to the next page, which is the time of day, which I don't need in, in the boat data feature. So I'm going to select this and change the data field to something more appropriate. So distance sounds like a good one. So distance. Since this is going to be an offshore watch, I will select nautical distance. So now you know how to change the features of the different favorites. I'm just going to go back and get out of this. <laughs> so I'm not running laps. I'm going to just discard this activity, which does not belong in boat to begin with. So there that activity has been discarded and I'm back into the fourth menu so here's sail race tides so it'll show you the tides you can use it to navigate you have the option of points of interest so if you choose points of interest you can scroll down through cities food and drink fuel services lodging attractions, entertainment, recreation, shopping, and so on. And if you go to all points of interest, you can actually spell what you're searching for. If you're looking for a specific business, you can actually enter the name of the business here and do a search. You also have the option to make courses. If you have any waypoints saved to the watch, you're able to look at them here just by clicking Man Overboard. It'll show you your previous Man Overboard points and also any waypoints you've manually entered into the watch, such as an offshore barge, So you have the option to go to the last man overboard waypoint. You can just select sight and go 
and use a compass heading just to set a course so you pick your heading and it will prompt you for the distance so from navigate we scroll down to autopilot it gives you a disclaimer saying always watch where you're going the watch can't be responsible for running up on the rocks So it will prompt you to pair with the chart plotter, which would also connect to the autopilot. So you just have to go into the Connect IQ app, aboard the chart plotter, which I've done, and enabled. So it says it's pairing. I'm not going anywhere. So I'm just going to back out of this screen. You have the anchor feature, so you can set a waypoint when you anchor, set a drift radius, it will, the watch can notify you how far you are from your anchor point, it will prompt you for the depth, the ratio, the road, the drift radius, so you can control all these features. So I am not going to save the anchor position. So from fish, you can go into fish, set timers, exit, it controls the radio. You can monitor your stand-up paddleboard activities, kayaking, running, open water, hiking. So then we get to boat data. So I am connected to the boat. It tells me my depth. If I was underway, it would tell me the direction I'm heading. It gives me the option to mark a waypoint from the watch. You can add or remove pages. Pair a new chart plotter. And so on. So the man overboard button, if you press and hold man overboard, pulls up your GPS coordinates. So if somebody was to fall overboard, you can hit that button to save the waypoint. And navigate back to it. Or you can change the name of the waypoint to whatever you like. If you save it to your chart plotter, you can go to your chart plotter and modify the name of the waypoint. So that's a quick basic overview of the Quantic 6X. There are so many ways to customize it. I'm going to eventually go into more depth on this, but this is just to acquaint you with the basic features of the watch.